So today I want you to return here, talking about a, a interesting topic. It's called unit of work. Mm -hmm. Just uh, listening to this term, if you haven't heard about it before, probably have no idea what we're talking about. What is unit of work? So, <laughs> would you mind to really define what is unit of work? Sure, absolutely. So,、um, unit of work. Is nothing more than、uh, a software design pattern. The simplest idea about what the unit of work is, it it allows you to simplify your code when you're dealing with lots of DML statements across multiple、um, related data objects. So,、uh, probably one the easiest example to think about is. You know the data model、um, in Salesforce has the opportunity object, and that has the opportunity line items, and then the opportunity line items has a price book entry, and price book entry has related pro、um, product entries, and so you've got this interconnected data model, and you might develop a service, a, a, basically an apex process or something like that, that has to create lots of records all at once. So without the unit of work, what you end up having to do is well, you have to insert all of your、um, the opportunity records,、mm -hmm. and because you need you need to grab each one of those with their IDs so that you know how to、um, populate the opportunity line item records that are associated to the opportunity, and you you've got to be careful because if you were just Inserting every opportunity and then one opportunity at a time, and then inserting one opportunity line item at a time, then you quickly blow out the DML limits on、mm -hmm. an Apex transaction. So, when you get into when you when you factor in the fact that you've got to make it all bulkified, then that logic is lots of lists, lots of maps, twisted logic, and all of that is strictly. It's got nothing to do with your business logic. It's just how do I get all these data objects in there? 